just a quick video tonight um, in advance of the newsletter. I'm just giving you a little heads up about um, the block a patch site and how it works. And just a reminder that I do not recommend installing updates at this time. We are at DEF CON 1, which means that we are seeing issues with installing patches. And the one in particular that we're tracking is KB5034441 on Windows 10 in particular. It fails to install with a certain error code. And you can see this, I actually have this on my home PC, that you get a error code 0x8007643. Now, I don't think at this time that they're pushing the update, because right now the only way that it fails on me as if I request it. So the good news is I think they pulled back and they're not pushing it anymore. Um, and it looks like they're, we'll see what they do. But if you wanted to, if you're helping somebody and they're having an issue with this update and you wanted to use the Block Apache website, I was just gonna show you the process. And so just a reminder, www.blockapatch.com. And what it is, it's my website that I put on there several tools to help you block updates that you don't want. And this is proof positive that we don't want this one, especially on home PCs. If you're like me on a home Windows 10, you don't have a TPM chip and you don't have BitLocker installed. So therefore, in my opinion, there is no need whatsoever to even try or need this update. It's, it's ridiculous that they're pushing it out to home PCs that have no TPM chip and that also have no BitLocker enabled. So here's how to use the Wasus Show Hide, which I think is the easiest one. It's the quickest one and the easiest one. Um, it's the least amount of, of effort. You don't have to invest a lot of time and energy into understanding it. You just run it. The hardest part is this very, very first step where you click on it and it's going to say, gee, um, it's blocked because it could harm your device. And it's just because um, Microsoft hasn't updated the certificate on it, but it's still a valid code from Microsoft. It's no problem. You just click on see more and you click on open the file. So now I can't find it. Hold on. Let's try that again. I did that. Didn't do that right. Ah, excuse me. You click on this dot, dot, dot more action, excuse me. And you say keep, and then you open the file. Now, mind you, if you have paused updates, like you're supposed to, this won't work because it's not yet being offered up on your system, but don't worry. When, you, when I finally give the go-ahead, and assuming that Microsoft hasn't done anything regarding this update, you can unpause updates. It's okay if it installs because it will just bail out. It's not a big thing. It doesn't hurt anything. You come out to this Recess Show Hide tool. You want to say Next. It's going to search for updates, which is going to be what's going to look to see the updates available. And you kind of wait for it to do its thing. And you click on hide updates and you look for that one right there. Should be right at the top of the window. Click on it, say next. It's going to hide it. And it will stay hidden unless Microsoft changes the supersedence or detection. And if they do re-release it, that's actually a good thing. But if they don't re-release it, it will stay hidden. And you just basically let it hide that update and then go on with life and say, Microsoft, sorry, you blew this one. We're going to deal with you later. And that's all you have to do to hide the update. And it just says, I've completed it. I fixed it. I hit it. You can then close and that's it. And just to remember, I do not recommend installing updates at this time. I do not recommend installing that particular update on machines, especially 
if you are a home PC, you have no TPM chip, you have no BitLocker, you are not vulnerable to the risk of direct physical attack. Stay tuned, we'll have more on this in the newsletter, and I'll have a follow-up next week with if you do want to take action, and especially if you do want to change your partition sizes, especially for small businesses and even bigger businesses, I'll have some more details in the following week's newsletter. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for AskWitty.com.